that's his first show of the day. Yeah, yeah, he's just getting warmed up right now. Right. Go back to doing stretches or something. Mm -hmm. Seriously, how do they get a squirrel to water ski? Yeah, I don't know. Water ski is This is it right here. Come on. Let's dance. Come on. Let's dance. Let's dance. Come on. Let's dance. Come on. Let's dance. Come on. Let's dance. Come on. Boat and Sports Show. My name's Lou Ann Best, better known as Twiggy's mom. Here behind me is my assistant, Tammy Churchwell. That's Twiggy's aunt. <laughs> okay, now let's see if we can find a squirrel somewhere. You know what? This is a true story. Some of the tabloids, they got a hold of Twiggy. They wrote a bunch of lies. Now she thinks she's a star and needs a curtain. <laughs> well, this is the best I can come up with. So there you go. There's Twiggy. <laughs> Okay, now to begin the show, I'd like to tell you just a little bit about how all this craziness with the water ski and squirrel all began. We got the first Twiggy back in 1978 when she was blown out of her nest after a hurricane. Well, we took the little baby home and nursed her back to health. Now, I say we, it was my husband, Chuck Best and I, and he's since gone on to be with the Lord, so he's up there in spirit watching over us right now. But anyway, the first thing you do when you get a new baby in the house is you have to figure out a name for them. And with animals, what you do is you kind of watch what they do around the house so that you can find a name that fits their personality. Well, with our little squirrel running around the house, it didn't take long before we started noticing all the leaves were disappearing on all our house plants. And eventually, we had nothing left but twigs. So this is how we came up with the name Twiggy. Well, then a little while longer went past, and my daughter had a birthday. Now, my husband, he goes out, and he buys her this little remote control boat for her birthday. Well, then he gets teased so much for buying her the boat, and he's the one that played with it all the time. Everybody kept saying that he bought it for himself, not for her, because she'd be standing on the riverbank like, Daddy, is it my turn yet? <laughs> so he just said, now nah, I have to learn to drive it, so I can teach my squirrel to water ski with it. And that's where the idea came from. It was totally a joke. My husband, he was a nut. He was always inventing things. So he made Twiggy some skis out of styrofoam. Then we started working with her in the water. And before long, she was water skiing. Then the local newspaper came out to our roller skating rink one day, and they were taking pictures of our skaters for the newspaper. And my husband just happened to mention that we taught our squirrel to water ski. They ended up doing the first newspaper story on Twiggy, which went in the paper in the middle of May of 1979. A week later, the Orlando Sentinel picks it up. Then it hits the UPI circuit. It went all over the world in newspapers. Well, then ABC came out. They did the first news story on Twiggy. They won an Emmy Award for the first news story ever done on there. <laughs> so things are um, getting a little crazy. Then we get a call from real people, and they came out. They filmed it for the first time on their water skis, which aired in August of 79. 
uh, the beginning of August. Later on down the road, they filmed her again on her hang glider, but that's another story. <laughs> anyway, right after the first time aired on World People, we got bombarded with phone calls. People wanted us to do these type of shows. So we ended up doing three shows that first year in 79, and every year after that, it's just mushroomed by word of mouth. So here I am, 35 years later, still traveling all over the world with Twiggy. I've been as far as Paris, France, and Germany, and Bermuda, and all over the United States and Canada doing shows with Twiggy. Now she's been on a lot of TV shows over the years, uh, just to name a few, like the Rosie O'Donnell Show, the Wayne Brady Show, Late Night with David Letterman, Pet Star, um, American, she's even on American Idol and America's Got Talent. <laughs> she's been in some movies. She was in Down to Earth, Dodgeball, Anchorman, Megamind, and The Dictator. She's even been in the Encyclopedia, well, she's still in the Encyclopedia Britannica. She's also in school books. She's in magazines and covers of magazines all over the world. She's even in a high school psychology book all over the United States on her hang glider. And I found out not too long ago from a college professor, she's even in the college level psychology books on her water skis. So I guess that means we're really crazy. <laughs> so we're gonna get crazy. <laughs> but we you water ski for you. Jamie's getting my boat ready. Now we wanna make sure Twiggy's nice and safe out here, don't we kids? So look at there, we got our boat driver. And we got our spotter in the boat, just like these big boys do when they wakeboard or water ski. Gotta have a spotter to, Tell the uh, boat driver what happens back here with a skier or wakeboarder. That makes them safer. And they both got life jackets on. So what do you think? Do you think Twiggy needs a life jacket? Yep, look at here. We got squirrel size. <laughs> no Twiggy, she's going to wear her life jacket. But she wants to know how many of y'all wear life jackets when you're out on a boat? Good job, good job. You know what, kids? It's required by law that any time you're on a boat, you have to have a life jacket on the whole time you're on the boat. So y'all can't give your mom and dads a hard time because they'll get in trouble. Adults, it's required by law that you have them on the boat nice and handy, but I want to encourage you to wear them all the time, just like you wear your seat belts in your car all the time, just in case. Because chances are, if you need that life jacket, you're not going to be able to reach it. You're probably just going to forget about it altogether.